While ago, I did a video on how to install Kubernetes using kubeidm on Ubuntu, and I thought that was the easy way uh, until I found kubespray. So let's see. So as you see, we have four machines. One machine will be the control plane node, two worker nodes, and one machine for installing Kubernetes, which actually gonna run kubespray on it. Please make sure all these machines are under the same subnet, and the installer machine should be able to SSH into the other machines without entering the password. So that's why we are creating the SSH keys and copy them into those machines. But now let's make sure that we can run the sudo commands without the need to enter the password on each node. So in order to do that, open the sudoers file, it is under etc nodes as you see in the video, scroll down and add this line to your sudoers. Make sure you do this for all of your nodes. Now that we have all of this done, let's install Python 3 with this package manager. This is needed for kubespray. Twelve seconds later. So now that we have Python installed, it is time to actually clone Kubespray. Just open Kubespray's GitHub page and copy the link and clone the repository. After cloning the repository, it is time to install the Python requirements for those repositories. Let's see how that goes. So now let's install the requirements for Python. For non-Python developers, it's going to be a little bit tricky when they encounter such errors, but they, you have to take note that this is going to be just uh, for installing Kubespray, and I'm also not a Python developer. So you need here to add the break system packages, and I think there is going to be one other error, and it is because that Python is trying to install a package which is already installed by Python Debian, like Debian has installed the package, like for example, I think it's going to be about the JSON schema. And um, in this case, you need to add ignore installed. And then in that case, your installation will go on with no problem. Five minutes later. We are almost there. Uh, so the instruction right now from the readme in GitHub is pretty clear. Uh, there is only one problem which happens when you're generating the host YAML file, which I'm gonna get back to you and explain. But beside that, everything else is going to be pretty smooth and we have to be able to have the cluster up and running soon. Well, now this is the error which happens on the latest version of Kubespray. Uh, just simply install the missing dependency by yourself by running the Python command and you should be good to go. After that, just run the command again and then start configuring your host's YAML file based on your preference. And uh, then we are going to run the uncivil command based on the documentation. It will take around 15 minutes or so to um, install the uh, cluster based on your uh, size of the cluster obviously and we are going to get back uh, to see how would it look like and um, some tips for later how to scale it how to update to the latest version of kubernetes and so on One eternity later. So as you see, the cluster is up and running. I have one worker node less because yeah, I simply had uh, less CPU resources. 
but I may use that opportunity uh, to actually uh, scale my cluster in another video with Cubus Spray to add a new node or remove a node and also update the Kubernetes version. For example, how to put Kubernetes on high availability mode with the load balancer, like to have multiple workers uh, connected to the load balancer and multiple control planes controlled by the load balancer like for example when you use the kubectl you connect to the lo uh, load balancer and the load balancer will uh, connect to uh, the less busy for example uh, control plane node and things like that i may actually come up with a uh, new video to explain that too which because i think that's also pretty important but uh, beside that that's it as you see cube spray is pretty simple it actually speeds up your process for maintain uh, and uh, boot up, bootstrap a cluster. With that being said, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And uh, yeah, that will help me a lot to publish new videos. And cheers, thanks.